Hey Scott, this is Julian from Berlin in Germany. Um, first, I want to thank you for what you're doing. Um, you're doing a very great job. Absolutely love your show, listening to it kind of every day, I have to say. Um, now I have a question. So um, how do you handle a bundled product when the two products complement each other, but are somehow, let's say, fundamentally different? Um, I would like to take your example of a garlic press. So let's say you have a garlic press, And um, you also say kitchen clock, so people know when they have to take the food out of the oven. Um, they complement in the sense that they are both kitchen products, I guess. And um, for myself, I'm thinking about products in the main fashion segment. So my question now is, if you have two products in a bundle, but they're somehow different, how would you use the bullet point section? How would you use the keyword area? And how would you advertise the product via PPC? Um, furthermore, do you provide an example file where you show how you calculate your margin, let's say after shipping, PPC, storage costs, taxes, etc.? Thanks a lot. Keep doing what you're doing and ciao. Hey, Julian, thank you so much for the question. And uh, it's a two-part question. So we're going to go ahead and dig into part one of this question. Uh, so yeah, uh, okay. So if you're bundling a product, and from what I'm gathering, let's say that you have a garlic press and then a garlic storage bag, right? That stores garlic. Let's use that as an example. So let's just say that we had those two. What you're asking, I believe, is if I take those two and I put them into one package, okay, that's a bundle. And maybe the garlic storage bag is the bonus that you're going to be kind of bolting on to the main product or vice versa. You know, how do you describe that? Well, very simply, you put that in your, your title, You can put it in your bullets. You can put it in the back end of your listing. And what this is going to allow you to do is to show up for those different searches. So if someone's searching for garlic storage bag, they will find that listing and then they'll see the garlic press too, or vice versa. If someone's searching for a stainless steel garlic press, they're going to do that. And then they're going to also see the garlic bag that goes with it. So Really, it's it's not that complicated, and I would try to use both of those as ways to get double the traffic over to my listing for each product because you actually you have an advantage here because you are able to then target these different keywords. Now, if you were going to do a stainless steel garlic press and then add on something that wasn't really related to the product uh, as much, which I don't know why you would do that, but if you did, let's say that you had a garlic press and you said, oh, because you're you're buying this, I'm going to give you a selfie stick, right? That doesn't really go hand in hand, so that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense for a bundle anyway. Um, that would just be like you just trying to get rid of product or something and People would be like, okay, wait a minute, I got a garlic press and I get a selfie stick? That doesn't really make sense, right? <laughs> so you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, so it just has to make sense, and it sounds like it does. Like if you have a cooking thermometer and then you have a timer, well, they do go hand in hand, and you could then you know, put in the title that you're getting this heat thermometer plus bonus uh timer or something like that, right? Because each of those does go hand in hand. I think that's the key for anyone that wants to create bundles. You have to make sure that they go hand in hand. You want to make sure that they complement each other because then again, when you're writing about it in your bullets and in your, in your uh, description or in the back end, you're just explaining what comes with it. And that's going to naturally get you search results. The other thing is, is now you can also target pay-per-click, you can target, uh, you know, different keywords. So you can go after the garlic bag and then you can also go after the stainless steel garlic press. And when they land on that listing, it's going to be exactly what you're advertising. That's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, so that's what I would say right there for that is, you know, and again, don't overcomplicate things. Just understand that you're able to now target other keywords around those uh, different products. And that is an advantage, okay? Now, the second part, part two of your question is, do we have any type of template or anything that can adjust or that can show your uh, your profit, your loss, your costs, and all of that stuff? And the answer is, no, I don't have anything publicly. Um, the one that I've been experimenting with and playing around with is uh, the app called Fetcher. And uh, actually, if you go to the resources page, I'll have a link there that you can uh, you can check it out. I believe there's a 30-day trial. Uh, it's called Fetcher. And uh, 
Uh, it's by Greg Mercer from Jungle Scout, good friend of mine. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to use that. I'm starting to really dig into all of the inner workings. For the longest time, I've just used a spreadsheet. But in this case, now I, I want to use these tools. I, I think it's going to save me a little bit of time. Uh, and uh, and also a couple of the uh, the partnerships that I have, we're also going to be uh, using that same tool within there. And it'll just kind of streamline things and make things easier to see on a surface level. So again, I'll link that up in the resources if you guys want to check that out again. I believe he has a 30-day trial there. Uh, you can just go through my affiliate link. You'll buy me a cup of coffee as usual, but uh, you can go ahead and, uh, and check that out. Well, hey there, thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you wanna go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you wanna to listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. But what I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.